This pattern is called the Rusty Palmer. Really simple and effective pattern. I'm tying this on a size 16 um, dry fly hook. And I'm using a kind of a orange nano silk thread here. Um, you'll see most of this pattern is more of a sunburst yellow kind of a color. So I've got my thread started and I'm just going to go ahead and keep traveling back until I get to the bend of the hook just so I have a nice thread base to work from. So we're going to take that right back here to the bend and then I'm going to just go forward a couple of wraps and we'll tie in a tailing material. So our tail doesn't need to be incredibly robust. I'm just taking some fibers off of this feather here that's kind of a sunburst yellow. And I'm going to measure these out so they're about half of the hook shank. I don't want this tail to be overly long. So I'm going to go ahead and secure that on the top of my hook shank here with a thread wrap or two. And then I'll go ahead and check for the length of that. That length's about right. I may lengthen it just a hair by pulling backwards. That's why I only take a couple of thread wraps. We'll go ahead and take a few wraps to secure that down and then I'm just going to move backwards to get this secured back at the bend of the hook while keeping it on top of our hook shank. So we've just got that nice little hint. I'm going to grab my scissors. We're going to cut off the excess here to a couple eye lengths behind the eye of the hook. Then I'm just going to go ahead and travel with my thread forward. We'll carefully secure those down. And we'll just travel right on back. We'll tie in our hackle. Our hackle is going to be a really nice hackle, um, also kind of that sunburst yellow color. I'm going to tie this in so it will start right back here at the bend of the hook. So I'm just measuring to make sure I've got the right distance there. And then I'm just going to travel forward, securing that stem down while kind of keeping it in place so that I can keep kind of a consistent bulk. We're going to put some dubbing on here so that's not quite as important. I'll go ahead and clip that right off. We'll tidy it up. I'll take some wraps up towards the eye of the hook just to give myself a thread base to finish the fly off. And once I have that I'm just going to go ahead and travel right on back down to where we're going to put our dubbing on. The dubbing is going to just be kind of a golden stone my hair's dubbing. Go ahead and dub that on. I want this to be a little bit, um, let some of those fur fibers stick out so it gets a little bit buggy um, and it will give us a place for our hackle to travel through. So once I've got that kind of dubbed on, I'll go ahead and stand this up and tighten it down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take this right back to the base. Make sure, as I always do, to make sure I get a good wrap right around the base. And then I'm just going to travel forward with the dubbing, tightening it a little bit as I go. If you have just a little bit too much dubbing like I do here, I'm just going to go ahead and pull that right off. I'm going to go ahead and secure that down. I've got a kind of a mess going over the eye of the hook here, which is fine. You can either trim it off or you can kind of stroke it backwards with your fingers and just wrap back over the top of it. And then just clean up that head. I will come in with a dubbing brush and just brush out a little bit of those fibers. Not going overly over the top, but just to kind of make that a little bit more substantial and buggy. So 
So now we're just going to go ahead and take our hackle feather, we're going to pull it straight up. We're going to take one wrap right around the base. Make sure it's a full wrap. And then we're going to take open wraps of the hackle, avoiding the hook point. Just kind of moving our way right up to the body of the fly here. These open wraps are called palmering, which is why it's called the rusty palmer, because we're palmering the hackle. I'm going to take this right up to just about an eye length behind the eye of the hook here. And from there I'm just going to go ahead and secure that down with a couple of thread wraps over the top. Pull that hackle backwards a little bit. Take a couple more wraps here to kind of secure it in place. Trying not to capture these errant fibers, but if we do, just pluck them out with tweezers. I'll just go ahead and grab my scissors. I'm going to turn my vise just so I have access to that stem. I want to cut it off right at the stem and pretty close to the base. I'll just go ahead while I'm here with my scissors and rather than fight it with my tweezers, I'll just cut those couple out. Grab our whip finisher. Go ahead and take a few turns here with our whip finisher to just kind of secure our thread and finish the fly off. grab my thread cutter and we'll go ahead and remove our thread. And that is the Rusty Palmer. A really great dry fly. A nice kind of golden um, sunburst yellow color on it. Easy to identify and see on the water. So grab yourself a hook, throw it in your vise and give this one a shot.